Hi guys, welcome back to my revived and brought back Tootin Booth series, temporarily for the end of season 11. And so for this video, we are Tootin Booting the looks from episode 12's semi-final best drag looks. So we're just gonna go jump straight into it. So first up we have a curious C Davenport providing an absolute pageant gown realness. The gown, the hair, the accessories, girl, oh my god, all the gems and rhinestones and the bracelets and the necklace. Colour works really well together. I love the colour because it's like blue, like really like nice royal blue with the purple merging at the bottom as they said on the judging panel. And then the mix of the stones, the blue accessories, and then the blue and purple eyeshadow and the purple lip with the sort of Miss Benji Akira hair and the colour I live. So I'm impressed with the looks that she's turned out all season anyway and this is one of her best. She's done some really good looks so it's actually kind of hard to sort of be like mm, this is definitely her finale look. It is a good look and I'm impressed with it and proud of what she's done. Incredible pageantness and it is a good look so I'll give this a toot. Next up we have Brooklyn Heights herself, the queen of everything. I want her to win so bad, but that's irrelevant because we're looking at the looks right now. And this is her best drag, and we know that she is into the whole dance thing. And so I think it's really smart and works well that she came out the whole ballerina type vibe with the ballet shoes and the... Oh, just everything. It's like dragged up version of a ballerina, like tutu, and then the, she's even got like a crown situation going on, and the poise, and the way she's presented it and sold it on the runway, and stood there during the entire critiques, like all like one leg, and I don't know. So I'm really impressed with that look. I love like the face is actually really nice, just really like subtle, but the dark eye and then the lip. It's a really good look and I just love the way the colour is like nude and the white and the silver. So it's a good look and I'm really impressed with her and it works as a finale look for her. I'm giving this a really, really high toot. Next up, Silk with a good old milk, Silky Nutmeg Ganache. It's still here. So, you know what? She didn't do some good looks this season. They were falling apart. They were this, that, and the other. I like the bean look. I'm probably the only one. But this is actually a nice look. Well done, Silky, providing some pageant, almost like mini Latrice Royale, which she has referred to herself as. But for a finale look, it works for Silky's brand and what she's presented thus far because it's better than what she's done. But as a finale look, it's a bit like, hmm, okay. If anyone else did that, it was a bit meh, but it's okay. I like the hair. I think that she borrowed it from Akira, but maybe they just have similar styles, but the colour is like this weird raspberry ripple, nude illusion like colour. It's okay. It's decent for Silky, like I say, so at least it works like the corset she is cinched, so well done for that. Obviously, I'm not like thinking it's the best, best, best look, so I'm gonna give this like a really soft toot, so well done, Silky. For making it into the finale and this look was decent so soft toot. Next up we have Miss Benji, Miss Vanessa Benji Mateo get these cookies bitch providing green like velvety like almost Halloween vibe like oh the black gloves and the earrings are big and everything I like the hair I like that hair on Miss Benji I like when she does a blonde platinum black brown everything and obviously I'm not Michelle Visage, but I'm also not really a big fan of the green vibes. But in terms of this, it looks and works really well. I liked when she did green on the Halloween episode. So it is a good look. Well done. And the way she sold it, like, and she's got like the little sort of black bit going on with the bra, which kind of works with the gloves and the sort of top part is more like black with the green. I like it. It's good. I feel like when you thought Miss Vanjie was coming back for season 11 and it's like, what is her finale look going to be? And you saw that and it's like, I think she's had almost some better looks maybe earlier on in the season. I think she does red better than green, but it's a good look. It's a toot for me. And finally, we have Evie Oddly, the oddly of the eviness of the oddness of the everythingness herself because she is just incredible oddness and she's brought some good looks this season. Seriously, I don't even know where to start the calamari pink thing. When she did Alaska on episode one and the bald hair, I was a bit on the fence with her and then it just cemented it for me with that pink calamari jellyfish look and going forward she did some incredible looks. The only week she really slipped up on was the Halloween week and I wasn't a fan of the dinosaur or the voodoo doll 
type look. So this is almost like a better version of the Voodoo doll because it's like a red velvety material. She's definitely got her Evie Oddly stamp on this because she's got three boobs. I was like, what? Oh my god, like it came out before she even pointed at them. I was like, is that three boobs? Is that really like happening? Three eyes is incredible. It's given like absolute like fortune teller vibe. And then I realized she had like three fingers as well. So it is so smart, so clever. I really actually am so impressed with this look. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this look. The way that it's just been presented is so Evie oddly. And for me, it's an absolute shoot because she is incredible and one of her best looks, so creative, and what else would you have expected her to come out with on her finale type looks or semi-final look? Like, this is your best drag, and this represents Evie so, so well. Mm -hmm. So for me, top two of the week has to go to Evie Oddly because she is, it is just such a good look, and represents her drag style so well. Brooklyn Heights would be my top two as well. She would be like second for the looks. Like it is so good and I love the way she presented it on the runway as a ballerina. But seriously, all of these looks are good. They are all presenting kind of like gown type, not necessarily ball gown, pageant gown type thing. Even Evie in this gown, like it is all very gownage going on. But I'm so, so impressed with all of these, so proud and so happy that they got to the top five and obviously now the top four, minus Vanessa, Benji, Matteo, but some good looks this season as well, seriously. But yes, yeah, so absolutely no boots this episode, oh my god, girl. But yeah, so it's kind of like a soft toot for Silky and it's toot for Akira, a really high toot for Brooklyn. So I'm really impressed with these looks, seriously, and like, girl, when it's so close to the end now. But top two definitely goes to Evie Oddly. Yay! Congratulations, girl! So, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, let me know in the comments below who are your top toots for the week. Was there any boots in your opinions? If anything, I can imagine it might be silky, but I feel like it's an okay look compared to some of the other looks she's done. But maybe not necessarily compared to the other queens, but it's still an okay look. I wasn't going to boot it because I think it looks good, but not incredible. So, let me know what you guys think. Top two, Evie Oddly, do you agree with me? Or would you have given it to Brooklyn? Or would you have given it to Akira or Miss Vanjie? Let me know. <sighs> so I will be back on Sunday for the live reaction to episode 13, the reunion episode. Oh, I'm so excited. My outfit is gonna be killer. And I'm just excited for the drama. Like, not even like Raja's back, seriously. So just for that alone. And we're gonna have Ariel, Plastique. Oh, they're gonna kick off. I don't even know, seriously. So thank you all for watching. I will see you very soon for episode 13. I'm so, so excited. Oh my God. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Miss Vanji. Yes, I'm gonna leave Miss Vanji the same way that I left the last two videos. Miss Vanji. Miss Vanji. Miss Vanessa Vanji Mateo get these cookies, bitch. And I'm back. I don't want to go home, but I don't want him to go home either. It's just the worst situation possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she came out with this cape and the sort of disco vibe hair twirled it off and everything came off and it was just literally like, blew my mind mm -hmm. like we were gagging and not like, even the first look was so epic mm -hmm. and i was like if this is what she's gonna wear then yeah mint I do, and then yeah. like the reveal mint. and i just like the aesthetic of wearing like a poncho or a cape kind of thing walking through with showing the legs with the boots but then to reveal it and show what she had on with the blonde hair was incredible. 